Hello everyone, my name is Gabriella and I'm an English lecturer at Sussex Coast College Hastings. Welcome. Welcome to my talk on English literature. Today I'll be giving you accurate information about studying English literature at Sussex Coast College Hastings uh, so that every individual who considers studying here is well informed and considers applying. So, what about us? So, this is the English team, Chantal, Keith and Gabby, who is myself. Um, so, co college based supervision is the backbone of the course, and your lecturers provide advice, guidance, and feedback to ensure you develop an ability to learn independently. We're very supportive in our approach, and you'll be to contact us if you need any help at all. Um, we're happy to talk through your ideas and your work when it comes to independent research, which we're going to be doing quite a lot of. Uh, we use your lecturers bring a wealth of success and experience teaching A level English literature as we've worked in a variety of educational settings um, and taught the course for a number of years. Um, and please feel free to email us if you have any questions about college or uh, life at the work at college. So, A level English literature in Hastings Campus. So, English literature is for people who find writing in many ways quite astonishing. Studying English literature at Hastings is really special because of the breadth and the depth that you're able to put into the course. English is excellent because it's a multidisciplinary study, so you can incorporate history, art, philosophy, even your own understanding of the world into your readings and interpretations of text. If you enjoy reading, theatre, film, this could be the course for you. You'll explore different genres and styles of text, including play, prose, poetry, which you will analyse and assess for their literary and cultural and historical significance. You'll learn how to give critiques of different texts, uh, understanding the deeper meaning behind the text, and assess the impact they would have had in the time that they were written. You will have plenty of opportunity to uh, read widely around subjects, and you'll be expected to bring your own ideas and interpretations into the classroom for discussion and debate with the other students. So this one's quite a quick question. So what is the course entry criteria? So to study English literature, you'll need five GCSEs at grades 9 to 4, so HRC, including GCSE English at grade 5. So what would I study? So you notice I've broken it down to year 1 and year 2. In the first year, you're looking at aspects of strategy. In year 2, you'll be looking at elements of political and social protest writing, something that's really relevant for nowadays. So the course at Hastings involves giving you a solid foundation of the history of English literature, going from Shakespeare up until the present day. And we're going to introduce you to lots of different writing, including prose fiction, drama and poetry. So you might notice some authors up there you're familiar with, so such as Shakespeare, but then you'll branch off into the latter stage of year one and into year two to study wider and more modern writers. So this is not is through not only contemporary literature authors, uh, such as Margaret Atwood, who wrote Turn to Tell, you may have watched the TV series, but also thinking about literature beyond the borders of the UK um, by studying West Indian writers such as Grace Nichols. Um, it gives you a solid grounding in context, but it also gives you the sense of development of English literature in lockstep with history. So how will you be assessed? There will be two examinations at the end of the second year, which makes up 80% of the whole course mark, and two pieces of coursework, which is 20%. So what is exciting about the coursework is that you get to choose um, what novels or poetry you would like to write about. So, which gives you much more freedom to choose what you want to do. Um, you could choose a book that you might have already read, something you're excited by. You could do post-colonial writing, you could do sci-fi, you could do historical fiction. The, the boundaries are endless, really. All of this helps you prepare for the independence and the depth of cultural knowledge uh, you're going to be expected to have at university. So, how will I study and what's the space like? So if you study at English Literature at Southwest Coast College Hastings, you'll have access to an amazing resource in our library. There's a whole range of resources you can use, from books to online learning. Our library team also offers tutoring in terms of how to construct academic essays and construct bibliographies to supplement your learning class. 
So in a typical week, there are three hour and four sessions with opportunities for supervision. So it's not like um, in school when you're studying GCSEs where you have a lesson in English per day. You only have three sessions per week. So this, the course is classroom based and also you'll expect to actually contribute to the sessions. I think this is really useful because it prepares students um, in the terms of academic rigour, depth, um, training and diet, thinking on your feet, those kinds of skills. One of the best ways of learning is through debate and conversation and you're going to be encouraged to develop and expand your own skills whilst listening and empathising with others. So what can I do on my course? So you might think English literature, what could I do with it? Could I just study English literature? No. Typically many of our students go on to university, but A-level English literature is one of my highly prized of all the courses by universities because it demonstrates advanced skills in critical reading and discursive essay writing because whatever choose, uh, course you might choose to do at university, all of them require sound writing skills. So English literature graduates go on to a wide variety of careers. You can go on to study law, history, politics, journalism, advertising, the media, as well as literature-based degree courses. You might even want to go into creative writing like poetry or become a writer. So this is a quotation from one of our students and she spoke about thinking about the ideas behind text and she's loved the ideas of um, Carter to express them. So all of these different interpretations you're going to be applying directly back to the text. And so much of what the A-level and how it's different from GCSE is crafting your own interpretation of the text. Whereas in GCSE, you were told how to interpret it, and now you're thinking about how would you interpret it. So what's student life like? So when you start at college, you should be prepared for a different kind of atmosphere and much more freedom than in previous years. You're going to be working with a um, much more comfortable, open environment with people as eager to succeed as you. And you're going to be expected to contribute to discussions and it's going to be much easier to get your voice heard. In A-level, you have three periods for independent study. You're expected to organise your own learning, take advantage of this independent learning time. Some of our students engage in creative writing and there are theatres nearby where you can go to watch performances like Shakespeare. Uh, there is going to be an initial jump in difficulty. So for GCSE exams, you can just learn the content and the quotes, but at A level, you really need to understand it. So it's okay to find it really fast paced at first, but try to eat yourself in. We're here to help you, um, so you, you can use us as much as possible. But after the first few weeks, you'll be settled in and you'll be enjoying the, all the benefits of being a sixth former, studying subjects that you love. So the final question, are there any additional costs? So students are expected to buy the set text, provide their own stationery. Uh, set text needs to be purchased prior to the start of the course. This is to help you prepare um, because you'll have a lot of freedom to do. Um, you have the opportunity to undertake a range of trips and visit to support your learning. For example, we've most recently been to William Blake's art exhibition in London and Shakespeare's Globe Theatre. I hope some of you have already gone, but if you haven't the first time, it's amazing. Those trips revitalise and energise you um, in so many ways, making you explore the world around you and bring back that sense of adventure into your course and gain confidence. Okay, so thank you uh, for listening. Um, are there any questions? You can post them into the chat box. Okay, we've had a question from Jeff to everybody. So for written exams, will they be physically written or on a computer? Thank you. So this is a good question because uh, mostly it would be uh, written, um, but depending on your needs and whether you prefer to use a computer, um, we can make allowances for that. So while you would be expected to do a written exam, um, of course you can use a computer if we feel that you have a need for it. Um, if you can't come in September, what do you want to find? If you can't get income in September, what do you want to find? Um, so uh, I think this question might depend on grade boundaries, things like that. Um, so you can always come back and talk to us, um, you know, despite whatever happens, uh, 
regarding GCSE results. Um, so we can make allowances based on uh, what grades you have got. Um, so it may not be set in stone. Sorry, I'm in COVID. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so we are still going to, um, so for the months that we've been on lockdown, I've been running um, online lectures. So the timetables that most students have been following, um, I would be uh, giving presentations at those times. And we still have all of the debates and um, lectures uh, that you would be usually given. Um, I would also be setting homework and things like that in Google Classroom. Um, independent reading, things like that. But of course, you know, it depends on what will happen in September. We all, fingers crossed, hope that we will have face to face teaching again. What kind of books will we read? Okay, this is a very good question, Freddie. So, for the first year, you're going to be looking at things like aspects of tragedy. So, you'll start off with um, Othello, which is by Shakespeare, one of the great um, tragedies, um, but also insidious villains. Villain. Um, you're going to be also looking at plays like Arthur Miller, Death of Salesman. So all of this text you will be looking at in the first year will be centred around tragedy and the expression of it in different texts. In the second year, you're going to be looking at um, all sorts of politics and um, social protest language. So you're going to be looking at speeches and trying to understand what makes something a protest novel um, or um, a piece of writing because we don't just look at prose, because very often, as we've kind of seen in the local news, that speeches are, of course, very powerful in projecting social protest. So you're going to be looking at things like uh, Kalatasini Kite Runner. So that talks about the fight between Afghanistan and the USA and Russia. Um, and we, we are going to be taking that one step further by also looking at the past in terms of William Blake. So if you're not aware of William Blake, some of you might have come across him in GCSE. Um, he wrote that wonderful poem called London. We're looking at the whole collection of that, Songs of Innocence and Experience, where he, uh, he had a pitched battle against the establishment and what he was trying to criticise about it. Okay, next question from James. I have really bad dyslexia but love English. Can I still do the course? How can you support me? That's a really good question, James. So we have um, a very good ALS department, and they also give you support in terms of like, computers. Um, but I also give you set text, which can be printed, depending on whatever specification you like, where, where it could be like on certain kinds of colored paper or you know, certain type setting, things like that. Um, and uh, some of our students are, are dyslexic, but they have found um, a great deal of support with the course and um, they have enjoyed it immensely. So you would actually um, find support from me as well as the analyst department. Are there any extra curricular activities to do with literature? Yes. So we do have a um, creative writing club. Um, we also have a um, student-led debating society. Um, all of that really helps because it supplements everything you do in class. Um, our debating society is very, really useful because it helps you to shape your own opinion. Um, we also do um, some trips to the state. I'm not sure if anyone's been there, but it's uh, a local theatre in Hastings, and they've allowed us to use um, some of the um, uh, stage stages there um, you know, to practice. You know, think about how we could stage a certain like, scene or drama. Okay. Thank you very much um, for coming, and I hope you've answered all your questions. But please um, feel free to send me some if you think there any more. Thank you.